All right, here's the final grades all finished up. It's, looks really good. New septic tank, 24 inch manway, fixed up the leach field. Did some modifications to that. Ready for landscaping. Okay. Well, that job looks really good. Ryan, I just wanted to stop by really quick and meet the new homeowner who owns the septic system that we worked on this winter. And we just wanted to double check the final grades that Swanberg completed and looks really great. Super happy with it. And it's all prepped and ready for topsoil and seed. Great client, great install, huge success. So Mariah and I are stopping by another project right now. Our great client, Bob, fantastic individual. And we're gonna take a look at our recent landscaping job on that and see how things turned out there. Uh, Bob's been an amazing client, he's been super patient. Um, he had some challenges in the past um, with scheduling and commitments. Um, and uh, so he brought us into the picture and then we weren't available for a while. So he chose to wait uh, until 2022 to complete his project. And we're super excited. And he actually allowed us to do a photo shoot here, which is great. And we really appreciate that. All right, check this out. Got a new septic system installed here, new tank, and beautiful landscaping job. The guys did a tremendous job on this. Looks amazing, ready for grass seed. I know some of you guys have been asking for some more videos on the Swiss Army Knife Case 580. That'll be coming to you soon. That's a great example of uh, utilizing the case for a landscaping project and spreading topsoil. The loader does a great job. All right, so today Mariah and I are gonna final grade this property, make it beautiful and get it ready for landscaping. Rain a little bit. This is a normal feeling Alaska day. A little drizzle, it's 70 degrees out probably. This feels like home to me, not that hot weather from somewhere else besides Alaska. There should be, yeah, every single set should have a clean out in the monitoring tube. Depends on whether it's going to have sand or dirt in the bottom. Okay. Yeah. So, and again, we just need to verify. I'll check the drawing, but if it, if it only needed two foot of soil cover, then we have a foot excess, which is great. And if it needed three feet of soil cover, then we're gonna have a lot of dirt to move.
final grades here. Man, I sure love this 305.5. I can't tell you. It is a ripping little machine. This four foot clean out bucket. Yeah. It's the bee's knees, not gonna lie. All right. Well, part of what we do on these final grades is we run around and we double check that everything has adequate soil cover. Here in Alaska, that's a little bit important. If you don't have enough soil cover, enough insulation value between insulation and soil insulation, things are gonna freeze up. It's gonna be really ugly for you come around January when it's 10, 20 below around here. So we'll make sure everything's got the adequate soil cover and then we just start blending everything together, making it beautiful.
So for those of you that are interested and want to geek out a little bit, this is a Quantix Aerosol Mass Treatment Wastewater System. And uh, it's coupled with a pretty big infiltrator tank here. And it works good. And I think we hit some shallow groundwater here and some poor soil, so the old system was sitting in groundwater and we had to mound it up and uh, put in a, a raised bed here. So now we're just making it look pretty. All right, guys, we are back at the house. Good, successful day of final grading. Property looks good, homeowner's happy. We were able to actually fix some existing drainage problems that she was having, got that dialed up and dialed in and fixed while we were there. And we also figured out how to energize her hose spigot on the back side of her house on uh, the back of her garage. So yeah, I think that was a win-win. All right, well, we're gonna meet up with the guys here and we're gonna take the jet boats out and do some jet boat driver's training for the guys and for Mariah in preparation for dip netting because we got a lot of freezers to fill, a lot of families to feed, and we're gonna need both boats doing that. And now you know why we have two boats. having fun? Who's driving a boat? What? Look at this guy. Do X amount of people in the boat, you catch X amount of fish, you don't. 
You going to sleep? Today? That's how gun shy he is now. Dude, it was oh bad, goodness. man. <laughs> oh, yeah, the barking. We should launch it with the barking brake. Who sets a parking brake on an automatic? You do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Only when it's going to be sitting there for a long time. Yeah, okay. And that is so funny. You know. All right, guys, we made it back to the house here. It's a little after midnight, good late night. Had some amazing grilled chicken on the side of the river. Had a great time guys got to run the boats we had a, just a great time of hanging out and camaraderie good time with the kiddos and everybody's pooped as you can tell i can barely talk right now so i should probably stop mumbling and go to bed well thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe appreciate you all have a good one